Well, this is a big game for us this week, uh, interstate rivalry. Um, we know they're going to come to play. I would imagine their biggest game of the season for them and with a bunch of Tennessee kids on their roster. And uh, we don't have to look any further than last time they came in here. Uh, they almost beat Tennessee, two-point win by Tennessee, and go all the way back to a Peyton Manning-led team that, that Memphis was able to beat, a really good Tennessee team. So our guys will be well aware of that. Uh, we're going to have to have a great week of practice, very physical week. Memphis is obviously very critical to us, and um, you know I, I think it's a it's a great matchup that's had great games over the years. You know I went through the the games. You know the last ten times they played, there's a lot of really competitive games in there. I think it helps too to see guys, you know, our Memphis guys playing so well for us right now. You know our, our Memphis guys are playing great, and the, the last one's been Marlon Walls. You know, especially with the older guys, for him to step up and play a bunch in that game. Um, you know, I think is always good for us. Um, watched a little bit of film, but uh, not a whole lot. Saw him play, uh, I think, on Tuesday night. <clears throat> uh, I know they've got a pretty big, no, pretty big defensive tackle, but that's that's about all I know. I mean, I can remember as a, as a kid watching the game, and I remember us getting beat by him. I think one time had kind of like a shock, shocking feeling, because I mean, I guess nobody thought that was going to happen. Um, it's not too fresh on my mind. Uh, I don't think anybody's just mentioned it to me, but um, so I mean, it's an in-state rivalry, and uh, we're going to take it serious. And uh, we definitely have to win because we don't want to, you know, face face anybody in state about about us losing to Memphis. So we're going to take them very seriously. Do you get much trash talk from Memphis folks back home? Uh, I mean, well, fans in general, yes. Yeah, like if I'm just if I go back home and I have a UT outfit on, and then and I, and I go into like the mall or Walmart, they're like, "What you doing with that on?" You're like, "You need to take that off when you come home. You leave that in Knoxville." You know, uh, I mean, I mean, it's always, uh, uh, I mean, especially during. Uh, I mean, I mean, when I'm with my, with my friend, they're like, man, Malcolm, you can't bring this man around here. But, I mean, it's, it's all fun and games. But, uh, I mean, so, but sometimes not all fun and games. I mean, I had a, um, I went when I was first uh, committed and I had signed after uh, February. I had my little UT um, uh, license plate in front of my truck. <laughs> and it's like this Memphis fan, like this lady would not move from the red light. Like she really stopped. <laughs> and, like, it, it turned green. And then, like, uh, I pulled, like, she waited until, like, to, like the last second. It just so happened, like, as soon as green light, like, when it got yellow, she pulled off, and I got stuck by the red light, but it was, like, another light right there. So she got stuck. I pulled inside of her, and she was like, you made the dumbest decision in your life, da 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 And I was like, <laughs> I just thought that was funny. So, I mean, you know, there's always people out there that do things like that, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's sometimes it be a little adventure going home with, with the Tennessee stuff on back at home.